Hey guys, Nostalgia Team here. Um, I'm in my dorm right now, in case you don't notice this, but um, some of you might be wondering if you've seen this channel. It's been up for like a couple weeks, and you're probably thinking, why isn't this guy doing any videos? Well, thankfully I have some good news for you. I have been waiting um, to, till to do the summer to make these videos, these reviews, and um, because I just discovered that my laptop has a webcam, I somehow did not catch that until now. I've had this laptop for nine months and never noticed it. I decided to, you know, just do a video to introduce myself. And um, what I really wanted to do with this video is let you know what's coming. Because I'm, I'm not going to do like the Nostalgia Critic and have a, a secret list, but I'm not really going to do like a text-based you know, update like you used to do last year and stuff. So uh, I'm just going to get you posted on my first seven reviews. And I should mention, the reason I'm doing seven reviews, and this is also important, is because, as I obviously mentioned, I'm in a dorm, and I'm a freshman in college. And college obviously takes up a lot of time, so I'm really not sure if I can keep doing reviews on a consistent basis. I might do a review for the holidays. Like, I definitely want to do a Christmas review. I'm not going to say what movie yet. But, um, come Christmas 2011, I do expect something from me. But, um, yeah, I just want to get you posted on what's coming this summer. And, um, you know, if I have more time, then I definitely will probably try to sneak another review into these. But for now, this is the, the definitive first seven. And I'm just going to announce them in the order that I'm going to do them. Uh, first up, we have the Rugrats movie. Now, I really should explain, because a lot of people have been attacking me for wanting to review this. Like, I was telling um, an old high school friend of mine about uh, the movies I'm going to do. And his first comment to finding out I was going to review the Rugrats movie is, If you trash the Rugrats movie, I swear to God. Like, really, people, try watching it now. I, I mean... Yes, I do hold it in a very high regard. I love 90s Nickelodeon. This was one of the first movies I can remember seeing in a theater. But I really can't wait to tear this movie apart. I really can. It's one of the few movies on this list that I have actually seen and know very well. It's going to be a great review for to start things off. And then up next we have Wing Commander. Now this movie I don't really know much about. I know Spoony did a review of it. But I'm not really a huge viewer of his videos. He's very funny, don't get me wrong. But I just don't watch his videos often. Um, from my understanding, this is just a movie based on some CD-ROM games. I know Mark Hamill is in the movies. I don't really know the game. I was not much of a CD-ROM kid in the late 90s unless they were educational games. But um, I've heard it's pretty shitty. So, on that note, I'm very excited to look at that, considering the critic hasn't gotten to it yet. Probably because Spoonie did it, but I digress. And then up next, we have our first top 11. Now, this is a list I've been preparing for a while. I've worked on it on and off for years, actually. And this is going to be the top 11 animated movies. Now, this isn't going to be, like, a, a huge list. It's going to be a tad biased. I'll just get that out of the way right now. Um, there will be a little bit of Disney... Like, there's one, one Walt era film I really love, and it's really probably the only one that's going to be on that list, but you'll, you'll get to see it when it's up. And uh, up next, we're going to have Richie Rich. God, what a shitty movie that is. Again, one of the few movies on this list that I've actually seen. It's been years since I last watched it, but um, in case you don't know what it is, it's a 1994 live-action movie of the Richie Rich cartoon starring Macaulay Culkin as the title character. Now, just Macaulay Culkin alone is what's going to make this movie worth heckling. I mean, this is the guy who was in The Good Son. I, I mean, this guy just writes himself. Especially considering Richie Rich was really the last movie he did when he was a kid. So, combined with the fact that it's very unmemorable, <laughs> I think I'm going to have fun with that. And um, after that, we have a commercial special which will basically be me looking at old 90s commercials. Basically, it's going to be the same thing as the Nostalgia Critic does, so not really much I can say about that. I'm not doing the Wonder Boner commercial. <laughs> I will try to find some commercial to uphold the Wonder Boner tradition, but uh, no. No, I'm not doing that one. One review of the Wonder Boner is enough. 
And uh, after that, we're going to have The Air Up There. Again, a movie I haven't seen. But uh, the thing that had me sold on this, and the reason I'm doing it right away, is because it's from the director of that cinematic masterpiece, Kazam. And to m also, the fact that it's about basketball, and I, I have no idea if it stars any NBA players. I know Kevin Bacon is in it. But, um, I, from what I've heard, it's not as bad as Kazam, but it's still pretty bad. So, yeah, I'm going to review that. And finally, the piece of resistance. The one I know is going to have a ton of build-up if I get enough fans. I really don't care if I have any fans or not. I mean, I just do these videos for the hell of it to get something out there. But uh, I am going to do that beloved sequel to that beloved musical, Grease 2. Now, I, I should explain why I'm reviewing this, because this one is obviously an 80s movie. It came out in 82. But um, the reason I'm doing it is because... Um, just this past year, my old high school that I graduated from, the Drama Club, did a production of Grease. And people really hyped this thing up. Like, I, don't get me wrong, it was a great show. If anyone in that production of Grease is watching this, you guys did a great, great job. But the musical is overrated as heck. I, I'll, I'll touch upon this in the beginning of the Grease 2 review, but really, this movie is just so overrated. The musical is over. The songs are great. The so Don't get me wrong on the songs, but oh God, I'm just doing too much of this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to tackle the sequel to this beloved movie for whatever reason. And yeah, again, haven't seen this one. I've heard it's terrible. Uh, if you want to comment on this and tell me how bad any of these movies are, yeah, please just tell me so I know what I'm in for. And uh, I know I'm probably going to end that review. I don't want to say yet, but um, just think the critics' destruction of The NeverEnding Story 3, it's going to be similar to that. Except maybe a bit more violent. Don't want to really give too much away about that. So um, that's the first seven videos. Again, these will be on a summer basis. I'll do, you know, seasons in the summer. I might do another review between then during that academic year. But these will mostly be during the summer. So, um, if all goes according to plan, the Rugrats movie review should be out by the middle of May. I can't make any promises, but uh, you will see that in the month of May. So, uh, on that note, take care. I'll see you around.